Well, we are now just a day away from a crucial point in the 2024 presidential race, the first Republican primary debate right here only on Fox News. Eight GOP candidates will make their case for the White House when they take the stage at Pfizer Forum in Milwaukee tomorrow night. And we've just learned exactly what the stage will look like. And so now we've known for a little bit where they'll be standing and apparently that makes a difference. We talked about that last hour. The debate's polling leader, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, will be front and center alongside surging candidate Vivek Ramaswamy. Flanking DeSantis to the right will be former Vice President Mike Pence, former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie, and former Arkansas Governor Asa Hutchinson. To the right of Ramaswamy will be former UN Ambassador Nikki Haley, South Carolina Senator Tim Scott, and North Dakota Governor Doug Burgum. RNC Chairwoman Ronna McDaniel expects the candidates to talk about the issues Americans are facing under President Biden's leadership. I want to keep focused on what our pledge was, which was beat Biden. People are hurting. We're in Wisconsin, which is a battleground state. Cost of living is up. We know gas prices are up. We know families are dealing with financial death by a thousand cuts under Bidenomics. And they want to see us talk about issues. But I want to see our candidates contrast our vision for America versus the failure of Joe Biden. Carrie, you know, I was thinking about this. For somebody to have a real breakout moment, they have to monopolize the minutes. That's true. Right? I don't know what they disagree about enough to, monop mm -hmm. to monopolize the minutes. Yeah, well, here's how I think one of them can at least pull forward and, you know, separate themselves from the pack. I think whoever goes out there and is not just, you know, peddling an anti-woke agenda, very important too, but whoever goes out there and establishes an affirmative agenda for, say, like we do in the tech community, American dynamism, that is going to win the day. So I know Vivek is very optimistic, uh, but we need something aspirational. We need, you know, just not talk of how we're going to necessarily fight, you know, frankly, some of the, the, the forces that uh, the Democrats are, are bringing to bear on our children, schools, et cetera, the economy. But we need to say, how are we going to fix it? How are we going to be problem solvers? And how are we going to carry this great nation into the next 10 years? That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for someone who has a, a genuine idea of that and propagates that on that stage. So, Kaylee, I'm curious, uh, when, when you look at somebody like a Doug Burgum, uh, people don't really know him. Like how now now you're going from can I have a breakout moment to can I have a recognition moment? Right, <laughs> exactly. And, and three quick pieces of advice. One that involves that um, one, you got to catch momentum. So how do you catch momentum? Someone like Tim Scott, I, I spoke with some who are familiar with his debate prep. They said he's been prepping heavily. He's going to focus a lot on his biography where other candidates might need a direction change. They feel that this is a moment to, to really introduce him to the American people in front mm -hmm. of a large audience. So uh, catch momentum, and Tim Scott's style is very different than anyone on the stage. That may be a way to do it. DeSantis can emphasize, I'm a proven fighter. I have results. Vivek, I'm young. I'm new. I'm an outsider. These are all ways, if they harness that en energy, they can catch momentum. Two, though, at the same time, you have to eliminate competitors. Uh, this is a game of math. Last Super Tuesday, 2016, Super Tuesday, there were still five candidates in the race. 30% of delegates went to people who were not the top two. So you can lose by virtue of oh, not eliminating competi competition. And finally, illustrate policy differences, to your point. You can do that on abortion, which is really important in Iowa, in a primary. You can do that on cultural issues, and maybe mm -hmm. even on an issue like the deep state and two-tier justice system, where someone like Vivek is really strong on that point. So, Kevin... In terms of focusing on Joe Biden, because that's really where the chairwoman of the RNC, Ronna McDaniel, wants to see everybody go. Um, I, I believe it was you on my program, the Faulkner <laughs> Focus, who said the person you were most worried about and that Democrats should be worried about was Tim Scott. Why? Yeah, and, and to, to uh, Kaylee's point, you know, uh, evangelicals are so important in Iowa. When he talks authentically about his faith, as he did in that announcement uh, in North Charleston, I think that really resonates with Iowa voters. We'll see if he has that breakout moment, but to, to Kara's point, it's a really good one. I think Republicans, speaking as a Democrat, are interested in a forward-looking agenda. In that Fox poll, you saw 38% of uh, registered Republican voters are interested in the economy. The next one down the line is immigration and the border at 11%. Mm -hmm. So candidates that can clearly articulate a, a contrast to Bidenomics, right? And I'm here, I'll, I'll defend Bidenomics day in and day out. But someone, a Republican that can defend 
uh, the Republican nice point, of view, <laughs> point of view, really I think, is. can have that breakout moment. Yeah, I just want you to kind of live in the now and the truth. But, but, but that's I'm trying, I'm trying. I believe you believe. The more time I spend on this couch, uh, the more... Uh, Got a red right tie on. Now. Yeah, exactly. Well, that was nice. <laughs> Carly. Uh, I think that uh, this debate tomorrow obviously is important for all the candidates for that breakout moment. The most important for Ron DeSantis because he needs some wind behind those sails. And the Never Back Down pack did him no favors in releasing that suggested strategy because you used the key word and it's authenticity. So mm -hmm. it included take a sledgehammer to Vivek Ramaswamy. If he does that, even if he was going to anyway, people are just going to say, oh, well, they're going to be watching out for it. it so right. that's distracting. And it's also going to be, oh, he's just following the political consultants as opposed to just doing it yeah. naturally. I, we also do know that Chris Christie is going to likely go after him for being a, what did he say, big government conservative for taking on Disney. So he has his work cut out for him. But he is a really policy-driven guy who I think could also be a very yeah. strong debater and could, could take it all on. Well, look, um, the Iowa Register was talking about this when you talk about how all of these people did on the ground. Tim Scott was expected to have percentage-wise done much better. He didn't. He was toward the, the middle to the bottom of the pack. DeSantis actually did well in Iowa. Um, and so did Ramaswamy, and so did Nikki Haley. But but that's an interesting point. Real quickly, what what do you make of just the the situation that your candidate may not even debate the other person who's the nominee if Biden should be it? Well, I think the case was made a little easier with Donald Trump not coming to the debate in terms well, of no, the, no, no. the argument. Not to, the primary situation, yeah. but whoever makes it out of the primary. Well, I, I don't know who's making that argument. I I, I want Joe Biden it's on that debate It's in the pages stage. of Politico. Well, <laughs> but I, I think Joe Biden will debate the Republican nominee come November. He should. He do. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll call you if it doesn't happen. <laughs> yeah, I'll be on the show. Okay. <laughs> be sure to watch the first Republican debate right here on Fox News, live from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Such a great state. Have some cheese curds, would you? Tomorrow at 9 p.m. Eastern. I mean it. It's delicious. Martha McCallum, <laughs> Brett Baer will be moderating that. You don't want to miss it. Hey, everyone. I'm Emily Campagno. Catch me and my co-hosts Harris Faulkner and Kaylee McEnany on Outnumbered every weekday at 12 p.m. Eastern or set your DVR. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page for daily highlights.